Rochdale. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back once again to Hour of Compassion. I'm Pastor Pamela Lockhart, Compassion of Jesus Ministries. And to my far left, we have, praise the Lord, Amen. Pastor Courtney Williams. Yes. Hallelujah. From Ann Arbor, Michigan. How's from my the chair? Azalea <laughs> and the London United Methodist Churches. Amen. And next to him, we have our great Dr. Apostle Evangelist Roy Castro, who, <laughs> if you happen to see me reach to my left, I'll be pulling his hair. Yeah. Amen. And then next to me, we have my I brother, no Minister nothing. Rex Sparks from Ignite Flint. And, and we just Amen. praise God for you guys today. Now we have become the four amigos. The four <laughs> amigos. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Amen. 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 <laughs> Okay, Amen. Pastor Courtney, take it away. Oh, wow. It, you know, it's a blessing to be back and uh, with you all. Uh, I was mm -hmm. on earlier with uh, 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 Faith and Hope with Charity uh, mm -hmm. at 12 o'clock. I mean, Amen. we had a great time fellowshipping with her on the uh, tail end there and Brother brother Dan and, and, and her brother. I can't remember his name right now, but her brother was on there as well. And, um, you know, I've had a great, great trip to Florida. Amen. I'm telling you. Yes. Huh? Yeah, my, I, I, I'm telling you, I was working <laughs> on my tan on the beach. And, <laughs> and uh, um, it was wonderful. We actually got a chance to see a shark and touch a shark, and really? got a chance to see dolphins, and um, uh, and it was just an amazing, amazing, amazing experience. Uh, uh, blessings go out to the uh, Grace Church family down there. Amen. The thousands that make up Grace Church family. My yes. my dear friend, Pastor Arlene Jackson, mm -hmm. um, uh, Pastor George, Pastor West, Pastor Kevin, Pastor Sherry, yes. uh, Pastor Ed. All of you all down there who are serving. And, um, even Pastor Jetson, uh, Brother Jetson, um, we just appreciate your hospitality and your kindness. We had just yes. a great time. Hallelujah. Yes, swimming pool out the back door. Oh. It was just, <laughs> we were roughing it. Good. We were roughing it the yes. whole time. Yes, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but it's not, there's no place like home, so we're so glad to be back here. Amen. Well, we God missed you greatly. And, and, and to you guys, we say thank you for taking care of our brother. Amen. <laughs> amen. And sending amen. them back safe and sound. Amen. 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 Evangelist Castro, to you, how are you today? Uh, we uh, uh, well, were able to join that revival last night, and it was awesome. So tell us about what's going on. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's doing great. People are, are getting touched by the Holy Spirit, like I yes. said. Uh, I'm not teaching religion. I don't like religion. I don't go for religion. Mm -hmm. That's under the law. I go for relationship. Amen. 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 Fellowship. Amen. A lot of people are hook up in religion. Even even Christians hook up. It's not about religion. It's, it's, it's about relationship. Amen. And fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Because pe religion will tell, oh, you're a sinner. And the Bible said we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. But when you recognize that we have the Holy Spirit to help us. Yes. Otherwise, why did... The Lord sent the Holy Spirit, and mm -hmm. why did He give us the Lord's Supper? Because mm -hmm. He knows our flesh. He okay? knows our flesh. So we're not supposed to be, we got to minister to the drug addict, the alcoholic, the prostitute, yes, yes. whosoever, the backslider, because we got to recognize that, that that when we sow the seed or when we're fishing out there, it is it is the responsibility of God, hallelujah, to make that seed mm -hmm. to grow. It is responsibility of us to sow and yes. to be a fisher oh, yeah. of man. Amen. Okay? Yeah. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I told uh, Evangelist Castro yesterday, I said, guess where I was at today? He said, where? I was at the Velvet Touch. <laughs> 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 on Door Highway. Oh. We was at the Velvet Touch, but you know what? Lord. <laughs> People need a Velvet Touch. Amen. And sometimes they Amen. don't know how to get to Jesus, so you have to be open to hear what God is saying. The thing is to make sure you come out like you went in, mm. not to go in and, and, and let them minister to you. I went to minister to the devil. Because mm -hmm. whoever can accept Jesus, we want them to do just that. Amen. Amen. And, and it was a young lady in there that needed him Amen. yesterday. Praise Hallelujah. God. So Hallelujah. there was a reason. I didn't know the reason. I was going because I was asked. And I'm like, sure, I go. You, uh -huh. you, But you're a preacher. You ain't afraid. No, I'm not afraid. I'm not scared to go nowhere. Jesus went everywhere his feet could take him. And he ministered to the people everywhere that his feet took him. And mm. that's what we're supposed to do. So if I'm afraid of a name, then I don't need to be no preacher. Well, brother, Amen. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got a, a, another reason. <laughs> Amen. 
good man, <laughs> Minister Rex. How are you today? And uh, you have something coming up tomorrow. You'd like yes, to tell us yes. about it? Uh, I'd like to thank God. I'm blessed and highly favored. Amen. Um, uh, tomorrow, September 14th, um, Evangelist Geneva Spears of uh, the Soul Winning Jubilee Street Ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. If I have that right. Is doing uh, an adopt a street. It's a Flint uh, prayer chain day. Yes. Um, they are having it down at uh, Ballinger Park, which is on the corner of Dupont and Flushing Road. Um, it will start at the actual event will start at 12 o'clock, but they are doing the food giveaway in the morning, mm -hmm. and they're going to start that around 10 o'clock. So they're going to have. Uh, Free food giveaways, um, children's games, face paintings, and uh, Ignite Flint's puppet ministry will be there again. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for that. Um, if you have any questions um, pertaining to, you can visit the website. And the uh, website address is www.flintprayerchain.org. Amen. Um, and you can also reach um, Evangelist Geneva Spears um, at 810-766-8887. Amen. And, and, Amen. and we invite you to come. Be encouraged. Come. Mm -hmm. Come. Come. There is something for everybody down there. And uh, Compassion of Jesus Ministries will be representing tomorrow. Hallelujah, and, and, and we want you to come down and, and, and look us up and see if you can find us because God is a good God, and this Amen. right here is also just like that barbecue that we had. It's Amen. a setup for hell. Yep. Hallelujah, we're looking for people to be healed, saved, and delivered tomorrow. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. So come on down, tell somebody, bring them with you if you have to. Because we need the people to be blessed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Pastor, take this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my uh -oh. goodness. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, but you know what? The barbecue, the annual barbecue for the homeless um, was a tremendous success. I'm sure y'all talked about it last yes. week. I heard some people uh, on Faith and Hope with Charity talking about it, uh, about the testimony that you shared about yes. the man that you, uh, you and Charity ministered to. And, you know, that is so powerful. Even when I was in uh, Florida... I, I, I was in our Wednesday night service down there at Grace Church, and I, I got the chance to see uh, the the homeless, the homeless, the crack addicts, the you know uh, um, uh, people who are strung out on heroin, um, um, people who were just uh, absolutely poor, had absolutely nothing, all coming in not to come and get uh, to get a handout, but coming yeah. to experience a mighty move of God. And we saw the power of the Holy Spirit uh, save, deliver, and set free, and then. After all of that, we served a meal that fed over, uh, around 200 no, people. No, it was every, 600 people. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about when, when I was down in Florida. Oh, wonderful. I was over wonderful. doing something else, Pastor Pam. Amen. And I was over here talking about what's going on. <laughs> what happened? You missed it. I missed it. So, I mean, you know, but I, we were able to see, you know, over 200 people fed that night. And, and I said, you know what? This is the same type of ministry that we're doing in Flint. Amen. You know, uh, through our annual picnic for the homeless, through the tent revivals, uh, uh, Roy Castro Ministries, and uh, you know, through through what the uh, uh, Pastor Geneva Spears is doing, and you know, all the, we're we're all doing the same thing. We're all ministering to people who are hurt and hurting, and we're ministering d deliverance, not just salvation, but deliverance. And that's Amen. That, that's what the gospel is all about. Right, it's finding these people and you know, giving them a helping hand, not sitting back. Amen. I mean, we were all in that spot at one time. That's right. Yes. You know, we're no better than they are. And we're mm -hmm. the ones that now that we know who our father is and what he can do for us, it's mm -hmm. our responsibility to, to, to help these other people to mm -hmm. understand. Yeah. Do you know, uh, uh, when Adam and Eve, uh, uh, before they fell, you know, they, they, they were given authority and dominion to take care of the garden, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, know. we have that authority and dominion to, t to take care of the garden. So yes. we sow, okay? Right. Yes. I just bring up uh, some scriptures right now. Go ahead. Because sometimes, you know, religion will come in and, and condemn people and they give up so easy. Yeah. You know, the drug addict, the alcoholic, the backslider, we're not supposed to give up. Amen? Amen. So this is what the, what the Word of God says in the 13th chapter of Luke, verse 6. 
13th chapter, Luke verse 6, it says, He speak unto this unto them, this Jesus speaking, uh, this parable. A certain man had a, a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto, unto the dresser of, of, of this vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why, why compared it, it the ground? And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it, let it along. See, this is the caretaker. Let it along this year also, till I shall dig about it and dunk it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if it not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. And he was teaching on one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a, a woman which had a, a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift herself up. And when Jesus saw her, he called her uh, to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from this infirmity. And he lays his hands, his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Hallelujah. Now look at look at the rulers, look at the religious people, okay? And then uh, and then and then the rulers of synagogue answer with indignation because that Jesus had healed that lady on the seventh day, and as said unto the, the people, Thou art six days in which men ought to work, in in them thereof come, and he healed, and not on the Sabbath day. And the Lord said unto answer him and said thou hypocrite thou not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox and, or his ass from the stall and lead him away to water and ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan had bound lo this 18 years be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day now what I'm saying here see you see the difference the one that's, that that wants to do something for God is serious about it. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna. He's not gonna give up. Just mm -hmm. like Jesus didn't give up upon this woman that was bound, even though there were religious people there. He didn't care about the Sabbath. What he cared more about that woman. Mm -hmm. Right now, That's you got fair. a bound on the religious spirit organizations. Okay, mm -hmm. that that they're not gonna let the Holy Ghost move the way he's supposed to move. Amen. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're going to get rid of, the spirit of, uh, of control. Yes. Uh, we're going to let the Holy Ghost work. Let God be God. Amen. Okay? And so when we do that, we're going to get the backslider. We're going to get people that are out there that need to be touched by the love of God. And the only way we're going to receive by us expressing that love wow. and, 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 and having compassion and waiting and waiting until they See, see wow. and come back. Amen. Yeah. Wow. Amen. And wait one second. Wait. That brings me to Minister Rex. Mm -hmm. Minister Rex saw some guys that was ashamed, afraid to come down mm -hmm. because of the people. Mm -hmm. And he took some food and went to the guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of him making that attempt, something else happened. And then something else happened, and I want him to tell it. So, mm -hmm. Minister Rex, tell us what happened on that day. Well, after um, Sister Charity and I helped save the guy that was three sheets of the wind, she said it, so I'm going to finish it. Amen. Yeah. She brought it out into the open, so mm -hmm. I tried to be mm -hmm. nice last week. Mm -hmm. But he was. He was really bad. Mm -hmm. But we got through, and when we got down there to the other people, that were the other end, I mean, there's a lot of needs, mm -hmm. and the only thing that they were really looking for was somebody to talk to, somebody to listen to them, mm -hmm. and, and give them a guiding word. So while we were doing that, it escalated into, uh -huh. now we have, um, we're planning on doing a, uh, twice a month, a breakfast thing down in the park mm -hmm. for these gentlemen and they requested scrambled eggs and sausage amen so, so God is providing. we're going to be cooking again <laughs> twice a month bless your heart amen so we want you to know what's going on and we also we don't want to hinder anybody's blessings yeah. and what you need to do is be a good steward over your soul and a good steward over your seed 
And I can't think of a better place to plant your seed than in Compassion of Jesus Ministries. Yes. And, and, and in Minister Rex Fox, who's going to be cooking this food. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> and we do need help. We, we do and need uh, and finances and or donations <laughs> of, yes. what, of whatever kind. We'll take whatever we can get because we are going to do this. We are going to do this because God led it into being he Amen. brought it into fruition Amen. And, and and it's about us to stand like he told us to do no matter what yes. make this happen so Amen. we're going to make this happen you, you know, know uh, this, this is the beautiful part about it see that mm -hmm. that uh uh when God speaks to you to do something, you don't have mm -hmm. to understand. No. no. Just do it. Do it. See, Just God took it. me to Mexico for <laughs> years, over 40-some 40, 40 years of ministry. Mm -hmm. I'm not a pastor. I never had a congregation. God says, go. So I did. Mm -hmm. And God built churches from nothing. God brought the finances. We built churches several states in, in, in Mexico. Amen. How? I don't know. But God did it. Amen. God brought the, the, the finances supernaturally. I only had a handful of people to support. The I body had no congregation. So whenever God I started a ministry inside the shop, General Motors, okay? Mm -hmm. And it became a prayer room, and it's still there. Yes, so you don't have to understand. When God did do something, don't understand. Don't look at yourself, okay? Just it's not us. That's Just right. look at Jesus. Hallelujah. Focus on, on what he wants you to do. And God's going to bless you tremendously. Now, I can look back and see what God has done. Now, in places there, I cannot go right now because it's very dangerous, okay? Because mm -hmm. there's no airports close by. I'm talking about the mountains, way deep, about 600 miles from the border. Yeah. And uh, uh, I haven't got no contact with the pastor. Once I get, I'm going to go because I always sponsor them. And mm -hmm. so what I'm saying that anytime, anywhere, what God tells you to do, you don't have to understand. Just believe. Only believe. Only believe. Only Amen. believe and do it. That's Only it. Only believe, yeah. Amen. We did not pray. No, I was, yeah, you, yeah. you want to pray? You want me to pray? You, you pray. pray. Go ahead. Pray. pray Father the God, Lord. we thank, thank you for this day, Lord. For this is a day that you've made, God, and we yes, shall God. rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, I even thank you for the rain that's falling, God. Hallelujah. Yes, because yes. our land just like our spirits, need to be replenished. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the cool air. Everybody was complaining about the hot air, so you've given them something different. And I say thank you for that, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you for the people that's going to come out this evening into this tent revival, Lord. Yes, and Lord. they're not going to let the weather hold them back, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I speak mm -hmm. to the people's spirits from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Yes, and I Lord. call you in now. Hallelujah. All those that need to be healed, saved, and delivered yes, yes. so that God can move by his spirit and do what needs to be done for his church. Mm -hmm. And we say thank you for thank it right Lord. now. Thank Bless the Lord. word that come forth in this hour, God. Hallelujah. And we claim healing and deliverance and salvation, God, for the people that's listening over the air mm. right now. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, wow. I was going to yes. say, wow. I was going to say <laughs> earlier, uh, while I was in, uh, while I was in uh, Durham, North Carolina, I was uh, mm -hmm. introduced to a lady. I can't remember the name of her ministry right now, so y'all forgive me, but she actually provides a roadside meal to the homeless who live in the woods uh, out there yes. in Durham. Every, uh, ep what is it? It's like once a week or twice a week or some so many times a week. Amen. And you know, churches partner with her in order for her to do this, and other mm -hmm. kind of ministries part with partner with her in order to do this. And I say to any churches that are listening right now, under the sound of our voice, if you if God has placed it on your heart to provide one of these breakfasts, uh, whether you just provide the eggs and the and the ham steaks and the, I wish we did ham steaks, <laughs> uh, and the bacon and, and the waffles or whatever, so the minister Rex can prepare. Or if you want to partner with us if you have a kitchen or something or want to make it possible for us to do this please get in touch with us get in touch with pastor pamela lockhart if you yes. even if you don't see the number on the screen call the number here at the station and ask how do i get in touch with the with her uh mm -hmm. so that you can partner to do this with compassion jesus ministry and, and, and minister rex um so because long. this is this is def minister rex better turn that phone off um, this is definitely God breathed and, and the time for this ministry in Flint is obviously now. 
Is right, now. Yeah. Yeah. right now. Yeah. Right now. Right now. God's uh, spirit is here. I mean, it he, is. of course, he never left. He never left. We you just, know. we're the ones that have, you know, left him outside, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's why we're in the situation we're in. I mean, we all need to get back on our knees and say, okay, you know, I'm sorry, well, Lord. <laughs> you know, yes. Evangelist Castro was start sharing the story of the woman who was uh, bent over, who was crippled, and who came into the synagogue, and Jesus did a mighty work in, in, in the presence of these hypocrites. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and one of the things that, that struck me, the word, the word here for crip, cripple, I think is a senior. And what it actually means is being afflicted. So we don't know exactly what her condition was, but the, suffice it to say that she was sick. She had been afflicted, and she had been afflicted for 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 eighteen long years. And and Jesus turns around and sees her. Now now understand the difficulty of what had to happen here. The women were not allowed in the in the general assembly. Uh-huh. So. Somehow, some way, she's moving around this building, and mm-hmm. Jesus sees her, and 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 that says to me that no matter where you are Come in life, now. no yes. matter what your condition is in yes. life, no matter uh, uh, what the circumstances that are surrounding your life, whether you're three sheets to the wind or not, that yes. Jesus sees you yep. right where Hallelujah. you are, and not only did He see her, but He also saw her condition. You know, and you know, and and, and some yes. people think that they're hiding something. Like God can't really, <laughs> like God really doesn't know their their nature, and that, that God does not know what they just did this morning or last night or five right. minutes ago, right. or, or as we were at the picnic for the homeless, and I yes. saw that somebody had dropped a bottle of five o'clock gin in in the trash <laughs> barrel, and and like okay. when we were at the holiday celebration for yes. the homeless, and somebody let a Budweiser roll out of their coat jacket because they didn't have anywhere else to store it. You're not yes. hiding anything from God. You God sees you yes. where you are, yes. and he also sees your that condition. And I'm here to tell yes. you, just yes. like Evangelist yes. Castro said, that organizations and religious folks can't get in the way of Hallelujah. your blessing. Hallelujah. Because if God has Hallelujah. called this you, your time for salvation, today yes. is the day today of salvation. Day. Yes. And then he is going to do it. Yes. No matter what. No matter the what. The final thing I want to say about this evangelist Castro, <laughs> then I'm going to let you take it from here. Amen. Is, is that <laughs> what Jesus says to the man in the synagogue that this should be common sense for you because yes. this isn't just any woman. This is a daughter of Abraham. Come and, on. And, and you know what? We have become the sons and daughters of Abraham and, and indeed the sons of and daughters of God through the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made for our sin. Yes. And because what Jesus does is he reconnects us. I'm telling I feel Hallelujah. like preaching today. Bring, he reconnects bring. us with the promises yes. of Abraham, yes. with the blessings that God promised to Abraham. Yes. That is the covenant yes. that we have been grafted yes. into. Mm. Amen. You know, so so no, if you no. ever call no. Jesus your Lord and your Savior. If yes. you've ever been, been to any place where somebody has dunked you in some water, amen, yes. and said in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, yes. in the name of the Holy yes. Spirit, yes. amen, then you deserve Yes. It is your right to get into the presence of God. Yes. It is your right to receive your inheritance yes. that has been yes. promised to Hallelujah. you through faithful Abraham. Amen. Yes. It's Amen. your right. It's so your it right. should be common sense that you should be able to have church on your street, yes. on your block, yes. on your corner. Yes, it's just common sense that mm-hmm. you should be able to have church and receive your deliverance in your prison. Amen. Amen. In, in your hospital. Amen. Yes. Wherever the spirit of God dwells, and trust me, he dwells everywhere, amen, everywhere. And, when, and when God amen. sends the man of God or the woman of God at the appointed time, you don't have to hide, you don't have to run nowhere, and no devil in hell, no hypocritical Hallelujah. CEO or whoever yes. they may have yes. happen to be can stop you amen. from receiving what's rightfully amen. yours through the word of God. Uh. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Well, uh, no, that was good. Okay. You guys read read about it. You read about this woman. Yeah. Yes. I experienced that. I know you did. Amen. Yeah. I had a woman one time a few years ago. They brought her to the church. The Spanish church used to be on, on uh, Court Street. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I rented the church. And uh, 
this uh, daughter kept after her mother, go, go. And she came, she was bent over, couldn't mm -hmm. straighten up. Whoa. She had an accident, and for years she was bent over, and they brought her, and he, she asked me, I mean, I had to help her come up the stairs slowly because it was nothing but pain in her body. Mm -hmm. and, and and when we set her down, said, can I stand up? Because I can't sit too long. I said, no, honey, do what you want. I just want you to hear the word. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was preaching, praise the Lord. And at the end, the Lord said, pray for her. And so I brought her to the front. And I set her down, and I thank God she was wearing trousers, okay? Amen. As I prayed for her, the power of God hit her. Her legs went up in the air. Mm. She got out of there straight as a board. Mm. I took her to give the testimony, Channel 49. Her daughter gave her testimony. Then I took her to Agape Faith Fellowship on Burst Run. We had a healing school there, and she gave her testimony there. Amen. Now. Oof. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Second Corinthians 4.13. Wow. Yes. Second Corinthians 4.13 said, We have the same spirit of faith. Mm. Okay. Yes, now, Lord. how is the spirit of faith? Okay. This is how the spirit of faith works. Okay. And, um, you know, and this is what it says. We have it. Second Corinthians 4.13. We have the same spirit of faith. Uh, here it goes. According as it is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Mm -hmm. We also believe, therefore speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. What are you saying that? Your faith is in your mouth. You mm -hmm. believe in it's in your heart. Your heart is your spirit, man. Yeah. Okay. So you got to speak it out. Amen. 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 Believe what you say and say what you believe. Believe what you say and say what you believe. Believe what you say and say what you believe. Mm. That's what it's all about. That's the way you got saved. Romans 10, 8 says, Romans 10, 8, verse 9 and 10, it says, What are you saying? The word is nigh, even in the mm. heart and in the mouth. That is the word of faith that we preach. That if thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart, thou oh, shalt be saved. Mm. with the heart man believe unto righteous, suppose the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. So we got to understand that's that's the principal thing about salvation. When yes. you start confessing Jesus as your Lord, we had a lady they brought to me to pray that that, that she thought she was demon possessed, and and, and, and people had given her bad bad advice. Mm -hmm. They thought she had so many demons. There are people around playing with demons around. They think mm -hmm. so spiritual. Oh, you got so this demon, you got that demon. Why don't you shut your mouth and get back in the word, okay? Right, so anyway, uh, I said, I said, okay, sister, you think you got a demon, okay? I want to say one thing. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Yes, Jesus Christ my Lord. You couldn't say that if you were demon possessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know. Mm -hmm. We in this ministry for over forty some years. The Lord Jesus, the Holy Ghost, has cast out a lot of demons. Amen. Some have fell like snakes. Some have bounced up, and something invisible throw them all over the the walls and everything. I know what deliverance is. I lived in it for over forty some years. Mm -hmm. So, Amen. and she wasn't. I said, "Listen, if, if you were possessed, you couldn't say that Jesus Christ is your Lord." Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, the, you know the, that's when you when you're talking about that. These things are not strange to people. Uh, God works miracles. He does do. He does do exactly what His Word says that He's able to do. Amen. And He's able to use the, the men and women of God to bring it to pass uh, on this earth. And 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 I, that struck me when we were reading about the crippled woman. Yeah. The pre the the leader of the synagogue says there are six days yeah. for you to come and have this done. All right. right. You could have you could have been doing this. For six six days of the week, you could have done this. Yep. Yeah. But the problem that the leader of the synagogue had was not that she wanted to be healed because he knows that God is able. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, yes. but, but but he but he wanted to get her, keep her bound up in religion. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know. But all we have to do is submit to the word of faith. Amen. 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 Mm. Yep. And it reminds me of this uh, evangelist at one time that this old lady went to a church that didn't believe in speaking in tongues. Okay. And she was a Pentecostal and she went to the church. And the preacher started preaching, Hallelujah, blah, 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 shoot the rest, start speaking in tongues. And the pastor just shook his head. He kept on him, Warner, Warner, Warner. And finally, someday, she told the archers, Next time she speaks, you just carry her out. So there she was, speaking in tongues. So they picked her up, two archers, carry her out. So, well, praise God, Jesus walking with one ass, I'm walking out with two of them. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, so Greg praise God. So, no, 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 bring us down, right? <laughs> Amen. But I, I know oh. that to happen here in Flint, mm -hmm. and, and and it's a shame to say yeah. that that uh, people only believe part of the Bible. But I have a friend who <laughs> I won't call the name of the church, but I will say a denomination. Mm -hmm. Amen. A Baptist church, mm -hmm. and he was preaching. He's a preacher. Mm -hmm. And he got up and he was preaching the word and the spirit of the Lord hit him and the tongues flowed mm -hmm. and he kept preaching and the pastor got upset and he got up and put his coattail and he looked at him and he kept preaching and the next thing you know the tongues flowed again and he went back to preaching and the pastor got up and pulled his coattail again. He said, and if you ever speak that gibberish in my church again. Uh, we're going to have to throw you out. And he s swallowed that because he didn't want to leave the church. He, 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 he's bound himself up because I would have ran out the door mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. God freed me enough to give me a prayer language. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, 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 and he's still bound to this day because he's at that Baptist church. Yeah. And I think it's so sad when you know the word, but you're not getting that prayer yeah. that says that is of the Lord. I mean, you can know the word, mm -hmm. but unless you actually experience the word, okay. there's an experience. It's not just reading it. I mean, when you read the word, it has to come to life to you. The, mm -hmm. Jesus is a personal experience. Yeah. He's not... I mean, he loves all of us, yeah. mm -hmm. but each one of us were created individual apart from the other. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have likes and dislikes that, you know, I might not like, and I know I have some that you might not like, mm -hmm. but we were created that way. That's how we mm -hmm. bond together, mm -hmm. you know? Amen. So we need to get back to the point where we understand who we are first in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Then when we start reading, then the word does come to life. Because when I first got saved, it was like, okay, yeah, I'm saved. All right, yeah, I said the prayer, you know. We did the dance, we walked around, but I still did what I did before. It didn't change. It, change. it didn't sink in. I didn't right. understand what I did. Mm -hmm. A few years later, you know, think different things happened through our lives that, you know, and something happened one day and it was like, now I get it. Now, mm -hmm. okay. Now I understand. Mm -hmm. you know, Amen. It wasn't time. You know, mm -hmm. Jesus said his sheep will know, we will know his voice. Yeah. And we do. So when it's time, when it's time for you to be saved, I mean, we can walk around all day and save people all we want, but until they hear the master's voice, mm -hmm. it's not going to do them any good. Well, you know, you can get saved, okay, but it's like a seed. It's got to be water. Water. Right. It, it, so so prayer is like the water. water. The word is like the water. So the mm -hmm. more you get in relationship in prayer life and the water, the enemy is not going to easily deceive you, okay? Mm -hmm. Now let me say to this to the people out there, those that are being condemning themselves for sin. What I got news for you, even though we're preachers and everybody, the Bible said we all have sinned and come mm -hmm. short of the glory of God. Amen. Even the way you think, the way you talk, Amen. It, it, we this flesh, okay. Flesh. This <laughs> flesh is not being Amen. saved. That's Your right. spirit has been saved, Amen. okay. Amen. So once you kept on confessing and believing God and getting the voice of the Word of God inside of your spirit and feeding yes. your spirit, yes. you're going to be maturing. Yes, I'm not going to say you're not going to make mistake. You're going to make mistake while you're in this earth, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, you got a you got not only a relationship with God, you got a fellowship with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and this Holy Spirit is connected with you. And every time you take the Lord's Supper, spit that poison out. Mm -hmm. uh, because we're we're in covenant with God, Amen. and this covenant is reactive. Every time you take the Lord's Supper, every time you ask, "Lord, forgive me, I missed it," and the mark helped me not to miss it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we're humans. Okay, and this flesh is connected with the world, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. yes. Evil tidings, presumption, sin, and all kind of stuff going on. But once you get more mature, you're gonna learn how to jump and you know jump out of that circumstance. Yes. And say, God, forgive me, help me. I need your strength and your ability. I know this stupid flesh of mine wants to do his own thing. But, Lord, I, I, I want my spirit to grow and get stronger. 
They Amen. won't be falling to the same old garbage again. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm, like and it's good. important that we plant that seed. Uh, no matter how corrupt you think that person is. Because yeah. I don't know if you've oh, ever oh. done it. Have you ever met somebody that you felt like, I don't care what you do, they not going to never be saved. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you met somebody like that that give mm -hmm. that kind of aura to you. But uh, I've met people like that. I knew people like that. I thought my dad was a real monster. You never could have told me my dad could be saved until a month before he went home to oh, heaven. Wow. And God put him in the hospital and in the right place. The mm -hmm. left plant went to Memphis, Tennessee, mm -hmm. went in the hospital, and God sent the nurse. And the wow. nurse ministered the word to him, not knowing him, seeing the vessel and listening to the Lord. And he accepted Christ. And then he allowed me to go to Memphis just in time for him to open the door. And I see this man humbled and saved that I thought was a monster all my life. Right. And that wow. monster was gone. And I'm looking at a man of God and his voice was so calm and, mm. and, and, and sweet that I didn't know how to take him. Right. You wow. know, and then when he died a month later, we went down there, I almost lost my mind. Because mm -hmm. my daddy died and I hated him all my life. But I began to love him when I met that man of God. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. So it's important to plant the seed oh, yes. in the beginning. It's important even if you're tricking somebody into saying the sinner's prayer. <laughs> get them to say it. And, let the, and then water the seed. Let your light so shine that men might see your good works and glorify God and say, what must I do to be saved? Let them wow. run and, and run to Jesus because I want to live like that person is living. Mm -hmm. I, I want to feel like I see them act, you know, because if you don't plant the seed, they'll never know. They'll never know. Amen. Amen. See, here in the scripture says in, uh, in Hebrews, uh, 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 the 10 chapters, uh, uh, verse 20 uh, verse 19 on down it says having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest uh, uh, by the blood of Jesus by a new and living way which he had consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh and having a high priest over the house of God let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from the, an evil conscience and our bodies watch with the pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith yes. without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the word. Amen. Amen. Yes, well, hallelujah. Amen. Yes, we have a high priest see, right now. He's at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Yes. Okay? Say yeah. That. The devil wants to sift us away, you know, uh -huh. like, like he tried with Peter, but he's interceding for us. Amen. Whatever you go through, He's interceding for us. And he'll make a way. There's a purpose. He'll make a way. I seen God. I mean, uh, what the devil intended me uh, uh, in, in anything that I've gone through, he turned it around for the good. Amen. Amen. I met, Amen. I met uh, uh, drug addicts. I met prostitutes. And God turned them around. Amen. 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 In, my, in my own fleshy things, no, man, I can't do that. No, but God turned it around. Amen. 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 See, but you got to be prepared in the morning. You gotta be prepared because the, there's the atmosphere, the air of this world is contaminated with demonic forces. Amen. But Amen. once you prepare yourself with prayer, praise God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But we Thank can count you, boldness. I don't care. See, faith doesn't and belief doesn't have to do anything with your feelings. <laughs> That's okay. what people get messed up. Nothing to do with your feelings. Your five senses has to do with your feelings, but not faith and belief. Amen. Belief. It is it, according to Second Corinthians uh, uh, four eighteen. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, as, uh, ooh, let me just read this and I'll, I'll shut my mouth. Okay. Uh, it says uh, <laughs> uh, for uh, four eighteen. Second Corinthians four eighteen. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. Okay. That's why Second Corinthians five seven said we walk by faith mm -hmm. and not by right. sight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. <laughs> Amen. That's that's good barbecue. That's good barbecue, man. <laughs> good barbecue. Sauce on it, brother. With yeah. sauce. There you go. I like what you said in 20, 10, 20, Hebrews ten twenty three. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is 
faithful. And this is something I started dealing with a lot while I was at Duke this year. Uh, mm -hmm. It sort of swept over me. It's not that we're faithful to him. It's that he is faithful to us. Uh, amen. 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 Yeah. That he is faithful to us. Yes. So so he you, so Jesus. he tells tells us to to, to to hold on and keep confessing because with the heart man believes, but yes. with the mouth confession is made unto salvation or deliverance. Hallelujah. And he just says, Keep confessing it. Even yes. if you're not there yet. Thank you. Even if you don't see it clearly, you know, even if you're not living the life that you know you're supposed to be living, keep on confessing it. Because yes. he who is faithful. Now. You know. Um, the the yes. Jewish the the common Jewish Bible translates it as uh, uh, um, uh, uh, he uh, it translates it in a similar way that says that because of his faith and faithfulness because yes. of Jesus's faith yes. and faithfulness mm -hmm. yes Ooh, not that, because of our yeah. own. And this is wow. what the, the question they did to Jesus, you know, after they saw Jesus feed uh, uh, 5,000 with, with two fish and five mm -hmm. loaves, okay? Mm -hmm. And then they saw him walking in the water, and mm -hmm. they, they asked him this question. Then said they, in and, and St. John six twenty eight, mm -hmm. and th then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, yes. that ye believe. Mm -hmm. That ye believe yes. on him whom the, who had been sent. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just believe in Jesus. Oh, That's wow. all the work you did. That's because it. Jesus already did all the work. All the work. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Don't try to be saved. Just believe that you are. Wow. Amen. So I, I don't have to wear my dress all the way to the floor. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to talk. Oh, I don't have to put my collar all the way. Oh. I don't have to wear a tie every day. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, I believe wow. that I am a billionaire, and next year I won't need to have to deal with people that has an ulterior motive. An ulterior motive. And wow. we, the, and our barbecue for the homeless will be even bigger, except for it won't be because there are more homeless people. Amen. It's gonna be because. The needs of the people, because the word says, the poor you'll have with you, you always. always. So whoever mm -hmm. they are and wherever they're coming from, we're going to minister to them, and we're going to have so much money to do it. Amen. 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 I believe I'm a I believe you're a millionaire, sister. Hallelujah. And I believe for 10% of it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey, we don't have a problem with the 10% now. Amen. As a matter Amen. of fact, we're trying to grow bigger than that. We're Amen. trying to get... Close to fifty percent, if we can. Camel Soup got to 98 percent of their monies. Ninety percent of their monies, I think it was, but that they donated for tithes and they paid their wow. people and lived off the ten percent. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and yeah. that was way back when in the eighties. That was when they first started. Amen. When they Amen. First started, they still do it today. But no. I, I would like to invite people for the tenth revival. Uh, listen, listen. Uh, uh, it's a lot of work to put the tent up, but I believe, I believe that that tent can, uh, the power of God and the, and the presence of God, because mm -hmm. I believe in eternity and the glory and the presence of, of the power of God to be, to heal is, is there. Hallelujah. It's already started. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I believe that you come with faith believing, you receive whatever you need for, from the Lord. Yeah, and that's on North Door Highway, North Door Highway, north of Francis Road. No. Almost to a uh, Coles furniture store. South. No. North. North. North, north. north of Francis. North. No, south of that B. That's, no, that's what it is. North. I know what I'm talking about. No, north no, I'm saying it's of south Francis. Because I got lost yesterday. Francis. Oh, oh no. Right, well, well, well that's why it says north of Francis Road. Yeah. About half a mile or so on the left side is on the road. You can't miss the tent. Okay. Amen. Amen. It starts Amen. at 6 o'clock. So me and bring the oppressed, depressed, and possessed, and the Holy Ghost will be there to deliver. Oh, I mean, because I depend on the Amen. Holy Spirit. I, I don't yeah. even depend on myself. I don't even trust myself. I only trust the Lord. Amen. And he's the one that does it. Amen. 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 What time is that tonight? At 6 p.m., okay? And it's a wonderful, it's Amen. a wonderful, awesome move of God going on in the tent. And don't worry about the cold or the rain because God got you covered. And Amen. it won't be cold. Matter of yeah. fact, you might need a fan when God get through moving tonight. Amen. Well, we're going to have some heaters there, too. So That's what I'm talking worry. about. They might need a fan. 
Amen. The Holy Ghost was heated up up in there last night. Y'all had a Holy Ghost for time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Wow. And the worship service was so awesome. And the lady had the scarves. I hadn't seen nobody wrap them scarves like that. And she was doing that. The scarves like they do the flag ministry. She did the scarf ministry that was so anointed. And she just got right there in front of me. Mm -hmm. And that was so woo. <laughs> oh, no, the lady oh. stopped playing the keys. She was, we were in the worship service. She quit playing the music and just went to praise and singing. And mm -hmm. I'm like, God, this is just so awesome and so wonderful because it's a different move than the traditional church service. I tell you. It, it's a different move of moving in order with the program mm -hmm. when you just move according to how God wants to move. And, 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 and you don't put him on no time limit. You yeah. just let him move, and that's what happened last night, and it was great. It was awesome, I know, and that I man know. stood up and cried. The man got up and cried and testified about how the Lord touched him and blessed him. He had been to the doctor, and the problem was still there, and he kept trying to claim that problem gone, mm -hmm. but the Holy Ghost last wow. night. Wow. You're amazing. Y'all need amazing. to be in that. Uh, Pastor Pam got saved again. Amen. Sure. Praise God. You got to work. Keep on working out. Amen. Working Praise it out. Amen. Amen. Deliver you know. me, Jesus. Deliver me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but if, you know, if the church is bold I enough, I thank God for it. I thank God for Evangelist Castro, for Pastor Amen. Lockhart, Amen. for Pastor Bridget and Dwayne Burgess out oh, in Omaha, Nebraska. Shout out, yeah. Being Amen. brave enough to come outside of the four walls of a church building. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, and really connect with the church, the body of Christ. Connect yes. with the move of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because, I mean, if you read throughout the, the Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels, you will see that Jesus did most of his ministry and the most powerful works in his ministry were done outside of anybody's building. Amen. 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 Out in the wilderness, out on the outskirts of town. Because the, the move of God is so powerful. Listen to me, man and woman of God. Amen. The move of God is so powerful and yes, so yes. immense that yes. it won't even fit in your church. Amen. See, over 40 some, well, 40 some years ago when I first started in Mexico, we used to go to the farms out there in no man's land. We used to hang a, a light because there was no electricity. We used to connect it with the truck, the batteries, and we preached there. Then there was a, a room, they gave, a little, little, little room that had a lot of chairs and everything. I would, would preach and pray the prayer of faith, and every single person in that chair fell down by the Spirit. They were slain in Amen. the Spirit. See. But see, God honors any little thing that you do for God, see. God doesn't look at little things. Everything mm -hmm. that you do for him is big for him. It's big for him. Because we're, we're, we're doing what he tells us to do. Amen. Amen. Well, I want you to know that's real. Because uh, I witnessed that in the church with Amen. Evangelist Castro. And uh, I was standing back there watching while everybody in the church hit the floor but three of us. Yeah, mm -hmm. God. And I don't think that I missed it. I think God had me You'll still standing it. to bear witness yeah. to this powerful move that he made. I just reminded him of that yesterday. Yeah. Everybody in the church, and it wasn't no two or three people. The church mm -hmm. was almost full, and everybody hit the floor. But see, it was the Holy Ghost. The Holy God, Ghost. The Lord says, go behind the pulpits. Remember I was yes. in the front? Yes. Go behind the pulpit and pray their prayer of faith. Mm -hmm. And when I did that, people were just falling over. Mm -hmm. It's just hearing the voice of Come the Holy on, Spirit. Yes, yes. You gotta be sensitive, you know. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And I wish we were more sensitive That's so we wouldn't we make were. mistakes yes. like we do, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so but I'm getting we're getting there. Amen. Praise I mean the we're Lord. so Amen. we're so caught up on brick and mortar and on how many how many people are there on Sunday morning that, that mm -hmm. we're that we're missing the move of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Um, but if we're willing, oh if we're faithful ah, and obedient and we're willing, yes, we'll Lord. we'll eat the good of the land. Amen. 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 We'll eat the good of the land. Amen. And and, and I just want to remind the people right quick. Uh, December 27th will be our second banquet. Amen. I don't have a place yet because Pastor Courtney got to help me with Amen. that Amen. Praise God. Uh, we'll get it but together. we do have the date. And mm. it's going to be on a Friday, so we're going to get someone to come in here and do the show because we will be serving the people of God on that day again. Mm. And it's going to be a great day, a mighty move of God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we need your help. So anyone that feel like led to help us minister to them, please reach out and touch us 
in, in any way you see fit, write us a note, drop us a line, get on the internet and and, and, and get on the Facebook or whatever. Call us on the telephone. Mm -hmm. But drop us a line some kind of way. Uh, uh, drop a note, uh, uh, a check, uh, or, or whatever you feel mm -hmm. led to do. We accept it. If you feel like you want to cook, do that. But whatever, please join us on December 27th uh, oh, on, for that second annual barbecue no banquet amen. for the homeless amen. amen remember tomorrow at 12 o'clock at the city hall here in flint with geneva spears they do this every year we need to unite okay with with this prayer group amen uh we get to be one there's more power when there's oneness you, amen. It's going to be the, the, the Flint Prayer Chain Day, okay? Amen. Saturday, September the 14th, okay? That's 12 o'clock, right? Yep. In, 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 front of the, in front of the courthouse, okay? And they're going to be also feeding in this park, okay? Where is it at? Uh, Ballinger Park. Ballinger Park. You're going to be giving food. Uh, Washington and Ballinger and, uh, and Dupan, okay? The corner of Dupan. They were going to be giving food away at, at, at from 2 2 to 4 p.m., okay? So come expecting. Not to interrupt you. The food giveaway starts at 10 o'clock. Oh, food giveaway starts at 10 o'clock, okay? Mm -hmm. So come. Come take advantage of this, but come and unite yourself with the prayer. This prayer day, we need prayer in Flint, Amen. all over the United States. And I, and I told you, Neva, that I, if, if, if the, the time permits, I will sing that song, uh, Second Corinthians, uh, uh, I mean, Second Chronicles 7, 14. And it goes this way. If my people which are called by my name humble themselves and pray. Yes. If my people which are called by my name seek my faith every day if they turn away from their wicked ways I will hear from heaven above I'll forgive all of their sins and heal the land and heal the land and heal the land and heal the land yes. if you abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask whatsoever you will and it shall be done unto you yes. for the word of god is truth and the truth will set you free I lift up my voice and praise the Lord, the one who died for me. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's sing in the word. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we need, five minutes. We need, need to say salvation. Salvation, salvation, salvation prayer. Who's going to do it today? You can do it. Pastor. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, listen. It's a done deal. Jesus already did it once and for all. Okay. Amen. Amen. All you got to do is be sincere in your heart, humble yourself as a little child, and believe hard. Believe from your heart, okay? Repeat with us right now. Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we repent. Heavenly Father, we repent. We do believe, we do believe that, Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ shed his blood. For all of our sins, for all of our sins, once and for all, once and for all, and forever, and forever, we believe that He died and was buried, and we believe that He was died and was buried, and we believe, and we believe He bruised the head of Satan, He bruised the head of Satan, took the keys of death and hell, took the keys of death and hell. From him, from him, and he arose again from the dead. And he arose again from the dead. On the third day. On the third day. And he is. And he is. At the right hand of the Father. At the right hand of the Father. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And, Pastor, please take that opportunity to call back those people that are saved that's backslidden all right. that's listening all right all right father god in jesus name lord i yes, ask sir. that you reach out yes and lord. you touch yes lord touch the lives of all of those who have who have believed in you but yes, have sir. turned away lord hallelujah and not only do i ask you to touch their lives but i ask you to touch the yes. lives of those who are called to minister yes, to sir. them oh god hallelujah. for we are called to serve one another hallelujah. lord give hallelujah. those people yes, the spirit yes, of gentleness 
the spirit of meekness, yeah. O oh God. Yes, God. But, O oh God, do not allow them to not despise yes. the very garment that's spotted Hallelujah. with sin. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, equip them with Holy Ghost boldness, O oh God, yes, to go out and to snatch back those, O oh Lord, who have been marked by your mark yes, and called by your name. Yes, Lord. Lord, I ask that you would straighten up the way, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, that you would settle it in their hearts and mind, O oh God, yes, that they need to fall back into the arms of a loving Savior. Savior. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus Thank you, God. Thank you, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That is so important to me. That's why I always do that. Mm -hmm. Because there was a moment when I backslid. Amen. And, 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 and somebody had to pray for me. You know? And, yeah. and, and I remember getting up one Sunday morning. I had ran away from home and had been gone a long time and hadn't seen my family. And Sam Williams... Oh, wow. <laughs> he was on wham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Sam Williams ministered to my spirit, and I could not wait to get to my mama. And by the time I was able to move and get up and get dressed, she was at church. So next time she saw me, and it was a long time, I was walking in the church building. So he not only took me back to my family, but he took me back to my church family through that person that didn't even know me. You know, because... Oh, People were praying, and, and because they were praying, God led Sam Williams to minister specifically. He didn't know it to me, and I finally met him and told him about it. He got more kids than he thought. Amen. 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 In the city, so it's important to minister to the backslider. Amen. Because so many times, uh, a Satan deal with divide and conquer. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. and, and he done pulled you away from your house and your family and and people that love you for real and thinking that you're not. Nobody loves you and nobody cares. Yes, they do. Amen. And God loves you even more. Amen. So I always ask for that for that reason. Because I've been there. I know somebody else is there that need to come forward. Well, you know what the Word of God says, that God is married. Yes, to the, to backslider. the backslider. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Well, you've joined us today. Thank God for you. Um, keep on tuning in. Uh, don't forget all the things that are coming up uh, here in the city of Flint. Uh, yes. And if your heart is strangely warmed towards this ministry, please, there's information going across the top of your screen right now. Drop yes. us a line. Give us a call. And let us know that uh, whatever it is that the Spirit of God has put on your heart to do. Thank God for Minister Rex being with her with Amen. us. Uh, the great evangelist, Roy Castro, will be seeing you tonight. <laughs> Pastor Pamela Lockhart, <laughs> the <laughs> wonderful anointed woman of God, <laughs> sent here <laughs> to Hallelujah. shed the compassion of Jesus Christ thank right here in God. the city of Flint. We thank Hallelujah. God for you. Keep thank on you keeping Jesus. you. Amen. God bless you. And, pa and, and Pastor Courtney Wheat. Hey. Amen. Our brother. It's God. all about Jesus. <laughs> it's all about him. Sweet Holy Spirit. Now you're living in me. Pour out your glory. Your love and your peace. Your sweet anointing falling on me. Pour out your glory, your love and your peace. Your sweet anointing falling on me. You came from the Father through Jesus the Son. To lead us and guide us, yeah. thy will to be done. Pour out your glory, your love and your peace. Your sweet anointing falling on me. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.